How's it going everyone? It is Andre Williams and over here we talk stocks and we focus on one thing. Always protect your profits and you know what time it is. It is time for the joke of the day. If you're new to this channel, I just want to let you know we do this five days out of the work week. Maybe you had a long, maybe you had a stressful day or maybe it was the market conditions. Well, you came to watch this video plus you're one of my corny jokes. Here it comes. I couldn't figure out why the baseball was getting bigger and then it hit me. Too bad. But anyways, what we're going to be talking about today is OCGN. We saw a lot of volatility inside of the market today, especially towards the end. So of course, we're going to be talking about it inside of this video. But before we get started, of course, we got to go over the agenda. If you're new to this channel, I just want to let you know we have timestamps down below inside the description. But if you are a shareholder or you're thinking about taking a position, I highly suggest you watch this full entire video. So the first thing we're going to be going over is a technical analysis taking a look at the overall price action we want to know support we want to know resistance and where are the levels that we want to see OCGN at so we can look forward to seeing a strong move to the upside we want to see it get back into the eight dollar range but it has to hit certain levels first before it actually does that and then secondly we're going to be going on Fintel taking a look at the recent short interest information this is very key because we want to know if this play continues to have a lot of short squeeze potential and then we're going to be taking a look at the order flow distribution. We want to know if institutions have been loading up on shares for OCGN. This is key because it will have an impact on the overall stock price. And then when all of that is done, we'll be jumping into the final thoughts. So let's get to it. So we're going to be doing a technical analysis for OCGN. Let's see how it performed on the day. So it ended up closing at $6.82, being down 3.40%. On the low, it tested $6.82 and 82 cents and then on the high testing at seven dollars and 11 cents when we take a look at the volume stats on the day you can see we traded at 7.323 million shares and as far as for the average volume over 10 trading days at 15.687 million so definitely well below average there pretty much double so that did have an impact as far as the overall performance on the stock the chart that we're using is the one year daily chart let's see how it lines up with their indicator so we could see down below at the RSI it's at 44.48 so yes it is in the oversold territory but it's still fairly close to the middle where we have 50 when we take a look at the 200 day of course we are showing strength above it the 100 day we are below and we're also below the 21 day EMA so as far as the price action is concerned and where we close yes we are literally sitting on an area of support for OCGN you can see it exactly there being right around that 679 680 area close at 682 you can see as far as in the post it's at 693 so i definitely want to see us being able to hold up that seven dollar range i've been saying that for quite some time on the channel and i want to see them come back to reclaim the 21 day ema at seven dollars and 17 cents we ended up getting up to seven dollars and 11 cents before it being hit with some selling pressure but that gives you a good idea as far as that 21 day ema will definitely Definitely give us a bullish indicator in regards if we could see some price action above it especially if we have a lot of volume coming into the stock just like many others we're looking for that eight dollar range for OCGN we know once we can get into eight we could quickly get into 815 and then go and make that test going into the nines so as far as going into tomorrow if we could just stay around seven or above six dollars and eighty cents hey things are good especially going into next week if we do decide to pull back further then of course I want to see the 660 level hold or here around 650 and of course I don't see us testing six dollars tomorrow but I just want to make sure if it does decide to pull back even further like we saw in the after hours in the market Market. Amazon reported earnings a lot of stocks ended up getting hit but for the most part like I said I'm not seeing it going this low but I just want to make sure I give you guys a heads up so you're aware and you're not surprised so we're on Fintel we're going to take a look at the short interest information for OCGN so we can see the short volume ratio is at 29.12 percent as we scroll down on the page the short shares availability is at 65,000 updated 10 minutes ago and as far as for the short ball fee rate it is at 8.88 percent 
when we take a look at the sh short volume ratio history, and these are using the numbers from FINRA, we can see we have 54.20 as of the close for July the 28th, and on the 27th, it was at 54.88. So still well above 50%, which tells us that OCGN has a lot of short squeeze potential. It's definitely going to be interesting to look forward what the final numbers look like for later on today. But for the most part, we can see there's still a lot of shorts vested in OCGN. Now let's take a look at the order flow distribution for OCGN. So we could see here on the inflow, we have 8,252. And on the outflow, we have 11,459. On the large, we have 303. And on the medium, we have 4,650. And on the small, we have 3,300. On the outflow side, we have large being at 485, medium being at 7,495, and then on the small being at 3,478. So big time outflow day. So when we take a look at the large scale orders in the last five days, you could see here for July the 29th, we had an outflow day of 182 0.38 but do keep in mind on July the 28th we ended up having an inflow of 414.15 so what do we got to look forward to in regards to going into tomorrow by taking a look at this order flow here there is a chance where it could possibly pull back and it's part of the reasons why I talked about these particular areas inside of the technical analysis but what I really want to see from OCGN is being able to hold up those areas of support and especially wanting to see it actually finish Friday being comfortable in that seven dollar range so now let's jump into the final thoughts and we'll go over some more details so for my final thoughts for OCGN I want to see continued strength at the support levels that we discussed so if it actually finishes Friday at 680, I won't be angry, but preferably I'd want to see it finish above $7. If we don't get that, hey, I'll even take anywhere inside of the 690s because then that can give us a possibly good setup going into next week. We already know there's a lot of buying volume coming through this play. We're looking for OCGN to make that move to $8 and this is bearing on the fact that we're not getting updated catalysts and so forth. I feel like the next catalyst that's going to be coming through the pipeline is in regards regards to who, right? Their emergency use listing. So that is something we're gonna have to continue to be patient about. And I feel this should have an impact because at the end of the day of who recognizes Covaxin, this is a very big deal. And to add to that point, I was online not too long ago and I've heard apparently in France, they are not giving visas to Indians who are actually vaccinated with Covaxin. So that is something also to understand as well. And I feel if we end up getting that EUL from who, that could definitely change. And then as far as for Fintel is concerned when we look, of course, OCGN continues to have short squeeze potential, but this is only going to happen if we have a lot of buying volume coming through the stock. And also for anyone that was looking to get into a position, this is why I say your entry is so key and why you need to practice patience. You don't just go in and just buy the stock at any price. There is those pullbacks. I told you, you're going to be seeing pullbacks in OCGN stock. So I hope that you're using and you have a strategy in place in regards if you're thinking about getting to a position. I really want to emphasize that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll be talking real soon.